I wanted to to chat about one thing, about the behind the scenes, because yes, you're right. Netflix is really good at that. The behind the scenes, they're really good at that. But I, I, I am so annoyed at this behind the scene, man. I, I'm I'm sorry. I well, like, <laughs> oh my god, like what the hell? I, why I just are we meant, here again? I just meant just so the audience knows. <laughs> I just meant because of the cool B roll. But I think I yeah. know what Hugo's about to uh, say. Well. There's a moment on the behind the scenes where the director just says, like, out of the blue, like, we shot it all for real. It's all real. It's an helicopter doing this and doing that. And Chris is really there gunning the helicopter. And I have a f breakdown from this little mind saying otherwise. I'm like, what? Why? Why are we still doing this? Why? Why are we still doing this? And, I, and I'm like, didn't he watch the breakdown? Didn't he watch the shots? Because they replaced the, the helicopter. The helicopter is much more far away. It's not even mm. the same environment. It's completely replaced the environment. So it's like, why is he saying that there was no CG there? I don't want to sound like I'm defending it. Because clearly on this podcast, we have talked about so <laughs> many films and shows where before the film comes out, there's the actor on set or the director saying we filmed it all for real. And some of that is sort of correct in the language. And then kind you, know, of, you can yeah. show the visual effects. and. And I, we all know why they do it. They feel like, as in the filmmakers feel this, but I think the marketing teams at the studios also feel like it's more authentic yeah. if they went and shot it for real, that the audience is going to feel like it's too CGI if we yeah, start talking about the CG. We know why it happens, but it is a bit ridiculous. It is, when, it is. When we know yeah. that it's both, it's working in tandem. That's yeah. really what I'm and here it, to promote. Yeah, you know. and it's a disservice for both sides because yeah. the stunts on this film is amazing and their work is stunning, but the VFX is also stunning and it never gets called in. Like, he says words on the behind the scenes like, my hat is off to the stunts team. Why doesn't he say my hat is off to the stunt team and the CG team? Why do they never mention the CG team? I, I just feel like it is so tiring because I know the stunts guys and I know it's easy because... He calls on the names of the individual stunt people on the, the behind the scenes, he says. Mm. And it's so much easier because you can show a photo of him doing it and then there's a face of the person. And it's so much easier than showing a room, a dark room with 300 people doing CG. I understand that. But isn't there a way of us doing this? Because it's so disingenuous. Anyone that doesn't work on this industry really will believe that it was all shot for real. That's the problem that I am always having with these behind the scenes. And so if Netflix is listening and they're not, I hope they can change it. <laughs> <laughs>